We applied gloss on the side of the turret in preparation for the decals, which is obviously what we're doing next. Went through my old decal sheets and found the most appropriate markings. Found some, looked in the right um, style and the right size, most importantly. I didn't have 515, but I got 516, which... Uh, it's close enough. I mean, we're doing a representation. We've got the uh, battery or squadron uh, square with a circle in it. They had a square, but we used a square and a circle. A little cooler. Put on the decals. This is pretty damn easy. It should be. So wet the surface, stick on the decal, blah, blah, blah. We know what we're doing here. Again, make sure you have got this gloss surface. Don't listen to these other chumps on the internet saying you don't need gloss. Put gloss down. There we go, they're in position. Now, use your mark fit, your solver set, whatever you do, you want them to suck down, bed down as firmly as possible onto that surface. And that is the reason we have gloss behind it, or a semi-gloss, at least at the bare minimum. There you go, they're on, and let's see what the problem is here. There's a very, very visible uh, film there from the decal. It looks terrible. It isn't right. Uh, we can see on the reference photos that they were not glossy. They did not have film on them. They weren't big stickers. So let's eliminate this. And we're going to use, uh, here we're going to use the Lifestyle Entertainment Department made in Japan. Well, no, we're going to use uh, Mr. Deco Dissolver. We're using Mr. Color Thinner. We can use the leveling thinner. We can use the normal Mr. Color Thinner. This, I'm going to immediately tell you guys, high risk technique um, more appropriate to armor you can use it on aircraft by all means uh, here's your big gun used to my uh, extra thin cement the same thing will do it but you can have disaster mr ending tears the secret here is uh, application so you get your uh, q-tip or your cotton swab get some thinner on it make sure it is not soaking you do not want this stuff anywhere but the decal and as you can see, I'm ruling the Q-tip across the surface of the decal. This is the technique. Just roll it gently. And what you do, you tend to do maybe two applications at a time. Don't keep on the decal continually scrubbing and scrubbing and scrubbing. Believe me, you ruin everything. So you do this over time. Start rolling it. Let it dry. Come back. Roll it. And over time, the decal film will dissolve, believe me. On top of that, the decal will dissolve. On top of that, the varnish will dissolve, and so will your paint. This is why it's a high-risk technique. I'm using my smartphone there. I'm just going in there close, seeing how much film's left, going back again, repeat this. It doesn't take that long, but the secret is to take your time here. You do not want to ruin your paint work. So it is high-risk, but... Um, it does work this is the only way i know how to do this and look at this photograph here now i've gone for like faded markings the deco film is totally disappeared as you can see in these photographs it looks amazing <laughs>